So I'm making this video to fundraise for my friend's family who is trapped in this place. This is Khalid's family. He has four beautiful children who are trapped in a literal death box. The funds for this fundraiser is to cover the cost for basic necessities and for each family member to cross the border crossing to Egypt, which is a criminal rate of thousands of dollars for each person. The funds are also there for Khalid to get situated when he's in Egypt. I personally spoke with Khalid and his family over video call as he walked through Khan Yunus and introduced me to his kids. I saw firsthand the awful conditions and the dystopian world that he was living in. When I told them I was going to make a YouTube video about their fundraiser, the kids started celebrating with so much joy and hope. These kids have endured six months of G-side, watching their homes be destroyed, facing starvation, watching family and friends die brutally. They don't deserve to endure this any longer. Somehow in the midst of all of this, I still saw a light and humility in all of their eyes. Khalid cares a lot about his family from the little time I spent with him. Here's a message from him. I am Khalid El Anshasi from the city of Khan Yunus. I was displaced from my home because of the war on Gaza city. My house was destroyed. I went to Rafa, I couldn't support my children. I lived in a very bad situation. When the occupation withdrew from my home, I did not find the house, nor did I find any of my memories. I went to Dahab, everything was destroyed. I asked for help from anyone who was willing to help me. I'm very tired. I cannot provide my children with clothes, food, shelter, or even tents. I can't buy it because I don't have the money. Everything disappeared. I did not receive help from anyone. Unfortunately, I'm tired. Please help me. This is a real fundraiser that just hasn't got its footing yet. So far, he has only reached 100 euros out of the 50,000 that is being asked for. I don't want to disappoint Khalid's family. I want the dream for a better future to be tangible for them. If you can't donate, a share is just as, if not more valuable. If everybody watching this simply shared this on social media, it can create a domino effect where more and more people donate and share. If you don't have much to donate, just know any amount is appreciated. Khalid showed me so much appreciation and gratitude for just the 40 euros I donated. You can just see how sweet he is in his messages. You are a good person. You made me happy. Thank you, my friend. You are the reason my children are happy. Thank you. May God give you all the best. And then he also said, You are a good man, my brother. I am very happy. You are the second person who donated to me. He published my message. Thank you, my brother. You deserve all the best. I am happy. If you have a following on YouTube, Instagram, or somewhere else, feel free to make your own video about it with the information and footage I shared. You have all the permission to advertise his fundraiser. At the very least, we can get his family some basic necessities and provide them with a source of hope. Unfortunately, YouTube and other social media platforms like Instagram are censoring content about Palestine and Gaza. Videos explicitly about this topic, raising funds for family, and increasing awareness about the reality of the situation often doesn't show up on people's feeds. This censorship is blocking creators from helping more families who need to escape for survival. With that being said, please share this video as I guarantee you it will not show up on a lot of people's feeds. Also try your best to not mention anything about Palestine in the comments as bank accounts and fundraisers often hold up the funds when you do that. Every time I check up on people in Palestine and Gaza, I am shocked by their immense gratitude and kindness. They truly are teaching us how to be good humans.